Hey everyone, Joe here. In today's tutorial, I'll talk to you about cropping your headshot photos. Now this can mean anything that's more or less a portrait, or more or less, you know, the top part of the body, the head in general, or, you know, kind of out from the chest, you know, up. And that's what I consider a headshot photo. It doesn't have to be always completely cropped in on just the face. But anyway, I'm going to give you some examples of what, why I crop mine the way I do. And But like anything else, photography is an art. And art is always subjective to everybody's own personal taste and opinions. So while I think mine ideas you know work pretty good for me, they may not work too well for you. And like I said, some people may like what I do. Some people may hate what I do. It's all subjective. But I'm going to give you my thoughts and stuff. And I have four portraits here I'd like to go over and why I cropped these the way I did. Okay, let me first start off on this uh, black and white one here I did, a rose. Let me open it to the develop module so we can get to our cropping tool. And you can see the way I've got everything going right here, but let me crop the crop tool. And this one was a fairly easy. I did a 8x10 crop on this, and there's a reason I really wanted 8x10. One, I just like the way 8x10 looks. So like I said, it's all subjective. And I didn't have to adjust much, but you can see I did pull the uh, image, say, from like right here, and I pulled her up to where you can see the uh, left eye is on the one-third mark in the corner. And there's a reason for this. Uh, I just really like the way, you know, when you get eyes over on the one-third or back and forth, I don't like things looking dead on. To me, when something's dead on, it's dead looking. And so when I get... Like here, I got her eye over on the left uh, third quarter, quarter corner here. Let me get that out correctly. But also, look at her arm here. Uh, notice the hand going down to her wrist. It kind of flows down to the bottom uh, corner here. As well as the hair, in a way, kind of goes around to the other side. This gives leading lines. And this all seems to fit really nicely together. The eye fit there on the upper third cor uh, corner. The hands moved down to the bottom corner here. The hair flowed around. To me, that was the perfect crop for this image here. And like I said, it puts her face more just looking over into one third of the quarter of the page. One third of the quarter, that's not even correct, but one the one third of the page over. So I like the way this looks. Uh I think it fits. Could I have adjusted a little bit more? Yeah, I could have cropped, say I pulled in. Some more here, but I think I would have still put that eye over there for that wrist to flow down as well. But kind of like the way it looked here, like having that big image, it got part of her hair. Normally, I don't mind cutting off the hair at the top if need to be, but I think with her eye fitting right there, it uh, it fit really, really good and it looked really nice. So let me close that one. Let's go to the next photo. Here we go. Now I have another one of rows here. Uh, now you notice when I clip on the crop tool here, I cropped in quite a bit here. And since she was looking straight on, there's a thing. If you're going to have somebody looking straight on, they need to look like they meant to look straight on. If you kind of get somebody looking straight on and uh, you can tell they really wasn't meant to be, it really looks off. And so... Well, she was looking dead on right here. I think it worked great. I put the eyes on uh, a third on the top uh, third line on each side. And I cropped in really tight on the head here. And I know that wasted a lot of pixel resolution space and stuff all around. And that's true. And uh, unfortunately, that just happens sometimes. But I really liked the way this crop looked. It put her looking straight on. And to me, it fit the best because... When you look at it, you know, the eyes are, like I've mentioned a lot of times, you know, gateway to the soul. So when you look at this photo, you go straight to her eyes and you just kind of get mesmerized right into them. And that's why I think this crop, you know, worked the best for this photo. Plus, it eliminates anything else because all you're interested in is just her face. This is a ideal portrait style headshot. Okay. Now let's go over to the next here. Okay, now I've got one of Angel here, uh, and I'm going to show you what way I cropped this one. Let me crop tool. And you'll notice 
I pulled it around, you know, because it was about like this. I want to pull it around where the, one of the eyes is over in the upper, uh, upper third area here. But also, look at her arm. She's got a little wrist up here to the side, and it flows down to the uh, bottom uh, corner here. That's more leading lines. As well as the hair kind of flows down to the other third on the other side, which gives you some more leading lines. And uh, I think that was the best crop for it. I could have moved it around a little bit more. Now, I am using 4-3 four, uh, four, ratio on this one. Could an 8x10 work here? Yeah, it very well could if you wanted to. But I wasn't going for an 8x10 on this particular photo. I wanted something that was more 4-3 uh, ratio. Uh, you'll find out a lot of my photo stuff. When something's like a uh, landscape like this, I guess you could say, I do like 4-3. I think it's really a nice. It's a good uh, you know, resolution and uh, or, excuse me, aspect ratio for computers and such or any other any, uh, anything else you may show it on like a Facebook or anything else that 4.3 works real nice comes out the printing and stuff I still like the 8 by 10 so you can recrop this one let's just take a look here and do a quick recrop uh, I know how this is laid out I don't know why I clicked that tool here we go let's go down to 8 by 10 and see what this looks like okay now let me see here we have to pull it around kind of doesn't really fit I don't like having that eye too far away from that third mark it just doesn't look I want her to kind of look more on and you can see if I crop this 8 by 10 let me close it so you can get a better zoom in of it it kind of still works but it still kind of doesn't I just don't like the way it looks there I may have to pull it up from the bottom you know, uh, just don't think 8 by 10 works for this particular one. Yeah, that, that, that still doesn't seem right. So I'm going to go back to 4 3 you know, or as shot. It's 4 3 ratio. And let me zoom in here. Yeah. Put that eye back around that upper third there. The arm still goes down, still gives you that leading line. The hair still got a leading line to it. And yeah, I think that just still looks better to me. Okay. Let's go over to our last photo here of my daughter Gabby. And this is another that I kind of cropped in. And it is also, if I'm not mistaken, a 4 3 ratio. Yeah, it's 4 3. Let's see if I kind of uh, pull it out here. And that's the way I originally took the photo. And you can tell it kind of doesn't look bad, but I got a lot of wasted space over behind her here. And I don't want wasted space. Let's could a 8x10 work here? Let's see what an 8x10 will look like first. You know, 8x10 is not bad. Let me see here. Put the eye about right there. I may clip it just a little off. See what that looks like zoomed in. Nah, it's missing too much. It's, uh, you can pull it around. Could I put her in the center here? Let's try it. It's still just taking too much out of the photo. Let's go back to a 4 3 ratio. Okay. Yeah, about right there. Yeah, I think that does look better. Pull that around just a little bit. Pull the eyes more to the center because she's looking off to the side here. She's actually looking up at the uh, soft box. No one of that in her eyes, the way the light would fall off. There you go. Now what this does, it tells me that she's looking to the one side, but she's still got some, uh, does she say thought or other, you know, whatever you say, uh, something in her, she's looking to the past, but she's still got the uh, future in front of her because when you look to the uh, left, that's normally considered looking to the past. And if you look, have somebody looking to the right, it's normally considered, you know, looking to the future. 
this one I kind of wanted. Uh, when I took the photo, I wanted her to look more reminiscent of looking into the past. I, I know it it's, could have been, been better probably if she had looked to the right. Could have, but I don't know. I, I like the way it looked right here. And I think this right here is probably the best crop. It still keeps her eyes in towards the center a little bit, but they're still up the upper third part of that center. Puts the head still, the head's still over in the one third area, so that's completely fine. And it puts a whole third over here for her to look into or look to the past on. So it's kind of a whole mindset thing, the way it's got going on. But that's the way I crop that one. That's the way I like it. And yeah. That's just the way I like that photo. I think it looks the best there. And it still gives a little bit of a leading line on her shoulder here, even though it does kind of doesn't go down to the direct corner. It still goes down fairly well without, you know, introducing too much of the body because there's no real information there. This is more the information or the, the thought or feeling you get with this photo is looking into her eyes and seeing where she's looking to. But... Anyway, that's my whole thought process when it comes to cropping and stuff. Like I said, it's all subjective to everybody else's own personal, you know, way of doing things. Like I said, photography is an art. Everything is subjective, you know. What I think you should do is just when you get a photo, play around with it. See how it looks. I know a lot of people do not like to crop. None of us like to crop. <laughs> Let's just point that out. Nobody likes to crop, but unfortunately, it, it you do end up having to crop a lot of times. But there's no way I could take a portrait, you know, four three ratio, and it be that tall. It would just look totally ridiculous. And plus, nobody wants that much, you know, background sticking above somebody's head. It would just look really stupid. But anyway, like I said, find out what looks good for you. Crop around, play around, uh, see what looks the best for you, and. Try some of these ideas out. Maybe they might not think they look great, but it might help you spawn your own uh, way of doing things, which gives you your own signature look. But anyway, that's it for this video. I know it's not really that much of a tutorial in Lightroom. This actually applies to any other uh, software you're using out there. But I thought it might be helpful to you know, talk about you know, something that we've been doing a lot of the, uh, portraits and stuff in these uh, tutorials I've been doing. And, you know, somebody might want to know what's the best way to crop something. But anyway, I thought I'd cover the subject. I hope you like this video. If you do, how about a thumbs up? Thumbs up's always highly appreciated. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, be sure to subscribe. Subscribe is free. It's for you. Unless you know when I release more videos. Until next time, everyone. Thank you for watching.